in your work, both with number and algebra, you're going to be, need to be very familiar with exponential notation. Now, you, re you really should be quite familiar with exponential notation, but let's just recap it. Um, 5 to the power of 6 just means that you have 6 fives that are multiplied together. So that's 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And that gives you, if you work it out, 15,625. You've done a lot of work already with squares and cubes. So you know, for example, 5 squared just means 5 times 5. And 5 cubed means 5 times 5 times 5. So this one is 25 and this one is 125. And I've suggested before that really being able to recognize these square and cube numbers is quite uh, useful. So just knowing immediately that 16 is 4 squared or uh, 216 is 6 cubed is going to be quite useful for you. And um, it's also probably quite useful to know things like, for example, 2 to the power of 4, which we know is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, is going to be 16. And 2 to the power of 5 is just going to be 16 times 2, which is 32. So recognizing those numbers is going to be quite useful for you to do. But you can, of course, always work it out. Let's just emphasize the difference between multiplying by a number and raising to a power. So what's 2 times 5 plus 2 times 4? Well, 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 4 is 8, and so in total here, I'll have 18. In contrast, over here, I have 2 to the power of 5. So what does that mean? That means that I have got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then I add to it 2 to the power of 4, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to the power of 5, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 32. 2 to the power of 4 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times 2 which is 16. So what I have here is 16 plus 32, which is 48. So very important to notice that 2 to the power of 5 is not the same as 2 times 5. 2 to the power of 5 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is very different to just saying 2 times 5. Now let's have a look at how we might work out something like this. As you go on, we're going to look at rules and whatever for dealing with this. But something that I want you to remember always when you're dealing with exponents, which have whole number powers, is actually it is very simple if you just write it out. So if you remember the little saying, if in doubt, write it out, you'll be fine, right? So with exponentials, you can always write out what's going there and then you won't go wrong in your calculations. So let's have a look at five to the power of six. What does that mean? Writing it out, it's just six fives, all multiplied together. And what's 5 to the power of 3? Well, it's just 3 fives all multiplied together. And what is 3 squared? It's just 3 times 3. And of course, then we just have a times 3. Now, we can easily start sorting this out. Because this 5 will cancel with this, this 5 with this, this 5 with this. And so what we're left with at the top here is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. And here we have 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. And so what we get as our answer is 152. 
The thing that people often go wrong with is instead of writing it out, they try and make up their own little rules. And so they'll say, well, three times three is nine, so this is nine squared. Ah, ah, ah. Just write it out and you'll see that three squared is three times three. And then there's another three times three. And then you'll get to the right answer. Similarly, people will start to see, oh, can I just kind of do something with the six and the three? Certainly for a long while at the beginning, just writing it all out will help you see exactly what is going on and prevent you from going wrong.